So the intergastric balloons, there are various types of intergastric balloons that we can put, but the mechanism of action of all of these balloons is more or less the same. They occupy space within the stomach, as you can see in this picture here. When you're eating something, it sits in the area of the stomach, which is above the balloon, which is usually around uh, 30 to 50 mil area. So this kind of restricts your ability to have large morsels of food because the balloon is causing the uh, physical blockage of the food. But there's also another mechanism whereby it's more effective is by delaying the emptying of the stomach. So the balloon sits there but and the food very slowly passes between the wall of the stomach and the balloon so that the food absorption is protracted, prolonged and uh, it does not cause sudden sugar hits in the body. And another proposed mechanism is that because it's sitting in the top end of the stomach, it stretches that part of the stomach and that gives a feedback to the centers in the brain which are responsible for uh, appetite. So it may be working by three different mechanisms and uh, thereby aiding the patient to reach their health goals by losing weight and also altering their lifestyle.